In one of your interviews, you were saying that you were a big fan of Elton John. Yeah. And yeah. here is a scene with him. So yeah. did, did did you tell him about it, that you're a big fan of his? Of course yeah. I did. Of course I did. I mean, it's just kind of incredible to, to, to get to meet some an artist like that, someone who's been so influential and so, so popular, too. I think we forget it's it's how unusual it is for somebody to have that level of ability but also that level of popularity that doesn't that doesn't happen you know so because we kind of forget because he's been a star for so so long but he really is extraordinary uh did he come across as a confident actor at all he did he was a little nervous you know he was he was definitely like you know, but he, he was very game. He did absolutely everything and was so sweet in these very uncomfortable costumes and shoes. And I, he's, he's very good natured. Uh, Matthew Bond here, he's a director, he's a producer, yeah. one of the producers and a script writer. Mm -hmm. Is it difficult to work with someone who, you know, combine all these important parts in the movie? Would he give you any freedom? Uh, oh, yeah. At all, or would he say, well, you know, I've got the specific vision you have to stick to? No, he gives everybody a lot of freedom. I mean, I, th I don't think that he would have hired the kind of actors that, that are in this movie if he didn't feel like he wanted to let people do what they do, you know? I mean, it's a, it's a really very strong group. Um, and I think he's they, he's written something so specific in, in the script that you, you, you know... You, you know what it is he wants, he's able to communicate it that way. So no, I never ever once felt like very, you know, um, I, was, I felt like I had a, a lot of opportunity for choice. Um, I have, so after Suburbicon comes out and then Wonderstruck, I have a movie coming out called um, Bel Canto that Paul White's directed, um, where I play an American opera singer. So that's kind of cool. And then I'm about to start shooting a movie called Gloria. Um, directed by Sebastian Lilo. I don't sing, but Renee Fleming, who's the great American opera star, she provides the voice because she's supposed to, this woman's supposed to be an actual diva and I sing, you know, I sing these operas in it. So that was fun. It was really fun to learn about that world.